welcome to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Today is the WSL preview show as we go through and look at this weekend's fixtures in the Barclays FA WSL. And on Sunday we start off with Reading versus Manchester United live from the Majeski Stadium. Manchester United come into this game with Casey Stoney side to top of the table and know any sort of result for the time being will leave the Red Devils at the top of the table. However, if they were to lose to Reading and Arsenal will win later on in the day, the Red Devils could fall down and even as low as third place this weekend. Reading will be hoping to move up the table closer to Everton, however, uh, a win will not see them move places from 6th however a loss to Manchester United and uh, wins for Birmingham City and Brighton and Hove Albion this weekend could see the Royals slip down as far as 8th Manchester United will be hoping to progress on top of their uh, win last weekend against Aston Villa uh, Casey Stoney side looked very well into it uh, good in it, but we'll be hoping to score a few more goals against Reading. Uh, whilst the Royals themselves will be looking to get on t top of some wins now after a run of four draws in the WSL with their last coming last week against Bristol City with Farrah Williams getting the goal. Um, I think early look on this, um, you got to say Casey Sony's side are definitely going to be the favourites heading into it. Um, it would be unsurprising to see them get the uh, three points there and uh, continue their great 2020 in the WSL. Next up we have Birmingham City versus Everton at 2 o'clock. This is a game that will be available on the FA player in the Sport Nation Bet Stadium from two o'clock. Um, it's going to be, I'd say, somewhat of a close game as Everton are in fifth and Birmingham are in uh, seventh. Birmingham will be hoping to get back to winning ways after they lost three nil to Arsenal last week. Um, it was always going to be a tough t task for Birmingham to uh, try and get anything from Arsenal, but. Uh, this week there's more chance of getting a point or three against uh, Willie Kirk's Everton side who have struggled in recent weeks um, two draws and two defeats in their last four games with the most recent being a 3-0 uh, loss to Man City last week so it's definitely open uh, for Carl Awards Birmingham side um, I think this has got potential to be one of the good games, uh, best games this weekend and it's going to be very close and interesting to see what happens next up we have Brighton taking on Chelsea live from the People's Pension Stadium again this game is available on the FA player Brighton will be hoping to get a better result than what they did last week against Tottenham where they lost 3-1 Chelsea will be coming into this game after uh, playing in the UEFA Champions League last uh, not last night uh, but on Wednesday afternoon where the Blues won 5-0 if I remember correctly um, Chelsea are looking in good form in the league as well the last three games they've won two of them drawn the other with Arsenal um, Emma Hayes' side like I said victory and they could go top if uh, both Arsenal and Manchester United were to lose this weekend or drop uh, Manchester United lose and Arsenal even draw uh, they could go second based on a uh, goal difference so it's going to be a very close tie um, at the top but I think looking in this game you got to say Chelsea are the firm favourites heading into it against Brighton um, with the Seagulls sitting in 8th place a victory for them could actually see them jump up to 6th Barring, bearing in mind uh, the other results we, uh, games we've already talked about next up we have Bristol City versus West Ham from Twerton Park Stadium again 2 o'clock uh, and available on the FA player um, it's 11 versus 12 two sides that have struggled for form and uh, struggled for results in the right way for them Bristol City coming off a 4-0 defeat to Aston Villa the other day which we'll get onto in a few minutes um 
and West Ham, their last game, uh, they lost 3-2 to Chelsea. So, it's been a hard few games for both West Ham and Bristol City this season, though this really is a game that both sides will be looking to win and to kick start their season, especially Bristol City, who um, there's a four po uh, two point gap between them and West Ham, so the result could actually see uh, Bristol City leapfrog West Ham and off the bottom of the table and bring them closer to that uh, chance of survival. Next we have Tottenham versus Aston Villa again on the FA Player um, from the Hive Stadium, where uh, I believe yeah fans will be able to go to. Um, Spurs will be hoping to build on their last or well, the first victory of the season uh, last week against Brighton, uh, where they won three one. As I said, uh, Aston Villa are looking to build on their four 0 win against Bristol City from the. Uh, the other night, um, Villa looked very good and in control of that game against Bristol City. Um, took their chances and were more clinical when it came to uh, scoring with Sh Shania Hales and Ramona Pet Petzelberger both getting uh, braces. So hopefully Villa will be hoping to kick on to this result and progress a little further up the table again a victory and results go in their favour they could actually see themselves uh, level and points and it's a very similar goal difference to City rivals Birmingham City um, Tottenham Hotspur they'll be hoping to improve as we said on their first victory of the season um, again result for them they would actually leave Frog Villa and uh, they could also go level on points with Birmingham City. Uh, Rianne Skinner's first game looked very good for Tottenham. They seemed a bit rejuvenated and uh, they'll be hoping that was the start of something new for them uh, this season. And the final game that we have this weekend sees Manchester City play Arsenal at half past two on the BT Sport 1 from the Academy Stadium. Um, this is obviously the top of the table, or sort of top of the table clash this weekend. Um, Man City again are going to be playing on the back of a Champions League game, uh, which they played on Wednesday, um, the first leg of their game, so uh, which was away in Sweden in Göteborg. Uh, Arsenal have had a full week to prepare for this game. Um, they'll be hoping to welcome back Leo Volti into midfield, who had to miss the last game due to. Uh, concussion protocol um, again a win for Arsenal and uh, Manchester United uh, draw or even lose this weekend and uh, the Gunners can go top of the league whilst a win for uh, West Ham could bring them within a point of Arsenal um, I think it's going to be a very interesting watch to see how um, Jeremy Montemore's side line up against Manchester City because in the two games that they've played against um, so called big sides this season Arsenal and Manchester United um, Vivian Miedemar has struggled for quite a bit of the game until she moved out onto the uh, left hand side so it'll be interesting to see how long he waits to react to how hard um, Manchester City central defence are pushing but obviously the likes of uh, Lucy Bronze on the right hand side and then uh, the strong left side as well it's going to be hard to actually move about and give Miedemar the freedom that she needs so it'll be interesting to see what happens there all right let us know your predictions in the comment section below and what you think the outcome of each game will be and which game you're most looking forward to seeing this weekend make sure you like comment and subscribe we'll be back at the start of next week to review uh, the games and see how every team did. Until then, it's goodbye.